and Nubedia just dropped something that basically nobody saw coming. And honestly, the whole AI world is still trying to figure out how they pull this off. We're talking about Nemotron 3, a completely new kind of AI model that runs four times faster than anything NVIDIA built before, handles a million tokens of memory without breaking a sweat, and costs way less to operate per token thanks to activating only 10% of its pieces at any given time. And here's the crazy part, they're giving away everything, the model, the training code, 10 trillion tokens of data, and even the gene where they taught the AI to think. Let me explain why this matters and why every AI company just got put on notice. Alright, so Nemotron 3 is basically NVIDIA's answer to the biggest problem in AI right now. Everyone is building AI agents, these systems that need to work together, make decisions, and handle tasks that take hours instead of seconds. But here's the thing, most AI models completely fall apart when you try to run multiple agents at the same time. They are either too slow, too expensive, or they forget what they were doing halfway through. NVIDIA looked at that problem and built something completely different. Instead of using the normal building style that every other company uses, they mixed three separate pieces together. Mamba layers that track long conversations with almost no memory use, regular attention blocks that handle deep thinking and planning, and a tree called mixture of experts that only turn on the parts of the brain it actually needs. The result is a model that uses 31.6 billion total pieces but only lights up 3.6 billion at a time. That's how it runs so fast while still staying smart. Now let's talk numbers because the benchmarks are honestly wild. On math problems, Nemotron 3 Nano scored 82.88% on the math benchmark. That's not just higher than the competition, it's 21 points higher than Queen 330B which sits at 61.14%. On coding, it hit 78.5% on human evil and 68.3% on life code bins, beating both Queen 3 and GPT OSS 20B by solid margins. Then there is Arena Hard version 2 which tests how well models follow complex instructions. Nemotron 3 Nano pulled 67.7%, almost 10 points ahead of Queen 3's 57.8%, and way ahead of GPT OSS 48.5%. And when you look at long memory tasks, it handled 87.5% accuracy at 64,000 tokens, dropped to 82.92% at 128,000 tokens, and still held 70.56% at 512,000 tokens on the ruler benchmark. Most models completely collapse after 128,000 tokens. Nemotron 3 just keeps going all the way up to 1 million tokens without losing track of the conversation. The speed difference is where things get really interesting. On a single Ace 200 GPU with 8,000 tokens coming in and 16,000 going out, Nemotron 3 Nano poses 3.3 times more tokens per second than Queen 330B and 2.2 times faster than GPT OS's 20B. That 3.3 times throughput boost directly translates to way lower cost per token. And when you factor in that the model only activates 10% of its parameters on each token, the cost savings get even better. Artificial analysis ran their own test and clocked it at around 377 tokens per second which landed it in the top right corner of their chart. High intelligence, high speed. That's the spot every model wants, but almost nobody reaches. And honestly, when you stack Nemotron 3 against other open models in the 30 billion size range, it's not even close. Meta, Mistral, Dipsy, all of them get left behind on throughput. The only way you beat Nemotron 3 on speed is by moving up to much bigger pro-priority models. And even then, you are paying way more per token because of the odds inference economics. Here is where it gets technical. But stick with me because this part explains how NVIDIA actually built this thing. The model has 52 layers total. 23 of those are a mixture of experts layer. Each one holding 128 separate expert pieces plus two shared experts. When a token comes in, the model picks six experts from the 128 to handle it leaving the other 122 completely off. Those two shared experts activate on every single token, which helps keep consistency across the entire model. That's why it stays fast, even though the total size is massive. 
Then there are 23 number 2 layers, which are basically memory systems that track patterns across huge distances without needing giant memory blocks. Finally, there are 6 attention layers using something called grouped query attention with just 2 groups. Those attention layers are the expensive ones. So NVIDIA only used 6 of them and placed them exactly where the model needs deep reasoning. Everything else running through Mamba or the experts, which are way cheaper to operate. The whole setup was trained on 25 trillion tokens with a batch size of 3072 using a learning plan called Warm Up Stable Decay. Peak learning speed hit 0.001 and the minimum drop to 0.00001. All of that ran on 8800 GPUs in BF16 format during the main training phase. To be clear, they didn't just throw data at it and hope for best. The pre-training used 10.6 trillion tokens. And out of that batch, 3.5 trillion were completely made by AI. That's 33% synthetic data designed specifically for math, coding, and tool use within that particular training stage. They built something called Nemotron Common Crawl version 2.1, which pulled 2.5 trillion face English tokens from the web, including three recent snapshots, synthetic rewrites, and translations from 15 other languages. Then there is Nemotron CC Code version 1 which grabbed 428 billion high-quality code tokens by running web pages through a special vendor that keeps equations and code structure clean. They also added a retrace of GitHub code with multiple rounds of filtering, removed duplicates, and layered in large-scale synthetic code examples. The math section got its own treatment too. They preserved equations, converted everything to latex format, and stripped out noise so the model could actually learn patterns instead of just memorizing messy text. All of this went into the pre-training stage first. Then they stretched the memory to 512,000 tokens using a continued training phase and finally hit it with supervised learning and something called reinforcement learning from verifiable rewards. Now, reinforcement learning is where Nemotron 3 really separates itself from the pack. Most models get trained on one task at a time, which means they get really good at that one thing but forget how to do everything else. NVIDIA built something called Memogene which is basically a workout space for AI. It throws the model into multiple environments at the same time. Math problems, coding challenges, question answering, instruction following, multi-step tool use, learn conversation, structured data tasks, all running together in one season using synchronized group policy optimization. The model has to improve everywhere at once without losing skills in any area. NVIDIA ran tests showing accuracy climbing steadily across MMLU Pro and SciCode as training steps increased, which proves the multi environment strategy actually works. And the real breakthrough here is that they are raising Nemo Gene to the public. Developers can drop their own tasks into the gene, train models on custom challenges, and track how performance shifts across different skill sets. That's the kind of infrastructure nobody else is handing out for free. One more feature that's flying under the radar is reasoning budget control. Nemotron 3 can think as much or as little as you tell it to. You set a token limit on how long the model spends thinking through a problem, and when it hits that limit, it stops the internal reasoning and gives you the final answer. If you want a fast response, you set a low budget. If you want maximum accuracy, you set it to think longer. NVIDIA tested this and focused that accuracy clamps smoothly as you give the model more thinking tokens, but throughput drops because it's using more compute. So you can die in the exact balance you need between speed and correctness, depending on the task. That flexibility matters a lot when you are running agents in production because some tasks need instant answers and others need deep reasoning and you don't want to pay for deep reasoning when you don't need it. The community reaction has been all over the place and honestly that's always a good sign that something important just dropped. Developers on Hugging Face immediately started pulling the weights and running local tests. Within hours, people had it working with VLLM, SDLang, Llama.CPP, Base10, Together AI, Deep Infra, and Unsolved. 
the model landed on open router and other API services almost immediately. Some users jumped straight into code generation test and started posting examples. One developer on social media tried building a voxel-style game and reported that models struggled with the specific task. Though they noted other models in the same size range also faced similar requests, but the positive reactions overweighed the negatives by a lot. Artificial Analysis published a deep dive within days and positioned Nemotron 3 Nano in the most attractive zone of their intelligence versus speed chat. The Openness Index also ranked it near the top, meaning NVIDIA reached way more than just the weights. Researchers on social media pointed out that this is one of the most complete open releases they have ever seen. New building styles, transparent training process, open data sets, and agent training environments all in one package. That level of openness basically rises the bar for everyone else. Some developers immediately started comparing the hybrid Mamba Transformer MOE setup to older pure transformer designs and realized just how much memory the old approach wastes. One comment summed it up perfectly. The hybrid Mamba Transformer setup runs several times faster with less memory because it avoids those huge attention maps and key value cases for every single token. That memory saving is what lets you stack more experts into the model without blowing up the compute cost. Now, the bigger picture here is that NVIDIA is not just releasing the model, they are releasing an entire system for building the next wave of AI. Think about what they handed out. Neutron 3 Nano 30B in both BF16 and FP8 versions. The base B trained model, the reward model used for training, Nemo Gym with all the reinforcement learning environments. Nemo RL for scaling out training, Nemo Evaluator for testing model performance, around 10 trillion tokens of training data available for download, including 2.5 trillion tokens of common crawl data and 428 billion tokens of code data, specialized data sets for STEM reasoning and scientific coding, supervised learning data sets, reinforcement learning data sets, and even a generative reward model based on Quill 3. All of that is sitting on Hugging Face and GitHub right now under the NVIDIA Open Model License, which allows commercial use, fine-tuning, and redistribution. The only other company that's come close to this level of openness is Meta with Llama. But even Meta didn't release the training gene or the full reinforcement learning pipeline. And honestly, this will make total sense when you think about NVIDIA's position in the market. They sell the GPUs. They don't need to lock down the models because every time someone trains or runs an AI system, they're probably doing it on NVIDIA hardware. By giving away Nemotron 3 and the entire training stack, they are making it easier for developers to build AI agents, which increases demand for GPUs. It's the simple strategy they have been running with CUDA for years. Make the software so good that everyone builds on your platform and the hardware cells take care of themselves. And yeah, AMD and others could theoretically take this model and run it on their own chips, but NVIDIA's software optimization is back in so deep that you lose performance the moment you move away from their stat. The model is open, but the full speed only shows up on NVIDIA Silicon. The competitive landscape just shifted hard. OpenAI and Anthropic are sitting on pro-priority reasoning models that cost way more to run and don't give you any visibility into how they work. Google is posing Gemini, but keeping most of the training process closed. Meta's Llama 3 family is open, but the reinforcement learning side is still a black box. Then NVIDIA walks in and drops a model that's faster than all the open alternatives, handles a million tokens of context, and comes with the full recipe for how they build it. And they're not stopped at Nano. Super and Ultra are coming in the first half of 2026. Super will have around 100 billion pieces with 10 billion active, aimed at multi-agent teamwork and high volume workloads. Ultra will hit 500 billion pieces with 50 billion active, designed for complex research and massive planning tasks. Both of those will include latent mixture of experts, a new trick where the expert pieces share a common core and only keep small private sections. That lets you pack four times more experts at the same speed which means better answers without the cost spike. They will also have multi-token prediction, which basically lets the model guess several future words in one pass instead of one at a time. That speeds up text generation and helps the model learn better patterns during training. And here is where it gets interesting for the future models. Super and Ultra will be trained using NVIDIA's new NVFP4 format. 
which is a 4-bit number style that cards memory use during training without destroying accuracy. That's tech they're building out for the bigger models coming next year. One last thing that really stands out is how Nvidia positioned this release. Ali B screen, their VP of generative AI software, said it directly. We believe that we are uniquely positioned to serve a wide range of developers who want full flexibility to customize models for building specialized AI. Jason Huang, Nvidia's CEO, went even farther. With Nemotron, we are transforming advanced AI into an open platform that gives developers the transparency and efficiency they need to build agentic systems at scale. That's not marketing speak. That's a clear statement of intent. NVIDIA wants to own the foundation layer for the entire AI agent economy, and they are doing it by being more open than anyone else. Early customers include Accenture, CrowdStrike, Cursor, Deloitte, EY, Oracle, Plantier, Perplexity, ServiceNow, Siemens, and Zoom. Those are not small companies testing a side project. Those are enterprise giants bidding their AI strategies on NVIDIA stack. Alright, that's where we will wrap it up. The big question now is whether OpenAI, Google or Anthropy respond with their own open release or if they double down on keeping everything closed. My guess is we're about to see a wave of companies scrambling to match Nvidia's openness because developers are already working with their attention. And right now, all that attention is putting at Nemotron's kick. Drop your thoughts below, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button and I will see you in the next one.